Their names go hand in hand in history at the University of Georgia. Charlene Hunter Galt and Hamilton Holmes, the first students to desegregate the school. And while Holmes passed away in 1995, now more than 60 years later, Hunter Galt is still making a difference at the university and all over the world. She spoke with me, a fellow UGA alum, about her time at the school and why she's hopeful about the future. In January of 1961, Charlene Hunter Galt and Hamilton Holmes stepped into history, desegregating the University of Georgia. Hunter Galt is a trailblazer, an acclaimed and award-winning journalist, and a living legend, especially for black students at the University of Georgia. And the long process of becoming a student herself didn't come easy. But now, more than 60 years later, she chooses to reflect on the good. Three or four nights after I got there, they would, I don't know where they got the energy to do this, but they beat on the floor, I guess, to disturb me. And I said in summer of soul, they weren't disturbing me because I was listening to Nina Simone. <laughs> and from a young age, she knew and was taught a pride in herself and her people that helped along the way. None of the uh, things that went on really got to us because what I say is our history was our armor and it protected us. She has good memories and recalls good people from UGA that reinforce her belief that we shouldn't make generalizations about others, no matter the differences. There were a group of girls that came to my door one night and they had a bag of bags of groceries because they knew I had a kitchenette. They didn't. <laughs> and um, they said, we've come to cook dinner. They told me that they understood a lot of the attitudes because their own families had experienced those during what they call the Holocaust. They were Jewish girls. And now she wants to see a coalition of generations, all ages, working for a better tomorrow. Hate is hate. And if you've got it, it it's, no, it's no respecter of color. It's, it's our history that has made us strong. And while there are ugly things in it, there are things that should give us hope. And as we mentioned in the piece, Charlene Hunter Galt is an award winning journalist, her career taking her all over the world. Right now, she's working on a book called My People, which will explore some of her coverage over the years. It'll be released in the fall.